So there's this crazy thing going on these days. People are getting outside. <laughs> Whether it's because the economy is taking a toll or people are appreciating the simple things again, the best things in life are free. I was personally encouraged in the way of a DUI to ride a bike for primary transportation. <laughs> and after five years of habitual biking, I've been forced into a well-oiled, fire-breathing biocycle, a biocycle. <laughs> and my mode is out of the box or off the grid as I cut through side streets and canal paths, slashing perpendicular lines across the asphalt. On a bike, you can quite literally go anywhere you want, unrestricted by the uniformity of city streets. Yours is a road that's traveled. This awakening grew parallel with a noticeable jump in uh, Tempe bike traffic. As Tempians were parking their cars for gas prices or general costs, or even just to get out and breathe some fresh air, and maybe park their cars and, and experience some outside air, there seemed like a natural and social conscious community taking shape. I like to say, cyclists wave high, motors just drive by. I became gymnasiated with time as my outdoor fitness became more and more inventive and dynamic as my gym experience became more dull. The outdoor, outdoor culture seemed to naturally align itself with omnidirectional biking, and I felt like the inside gym was constricting, and furthermore, in front of my noble creative spirit. Cold, white drywall, expensive rubber carpets, and stale farty air, not to mention the, the fun house of mirrors that ever remind us how inadequate our body shape and size is. And we all pay for this dismembership. It seems so dumb. But this wasn't freedom. I put down the expensive dumbbells and walked out the door in spring 2011 and devoted myself to the experiment and development of grasses greener fitness, and have had unique in insights in my externalized recreational laboratory, observing my streams of thought and the depth of my silence, imbibing the calmness and timelessness of the world around me, even stretching space-time continuum and drawing closely the singularity of pleasure and pain. I've talked to owls and witnessed eclipses I would not have had I been in a car or at home. We are enlightened beings of a supernatural order, but we lack the vision of the world to become tr truly transformed. It's like we all have yuckies. And yuckies are what cause and balance of weakness. We need to find some other way to get off the, the hamster wheel and stop flipping through the pages of People magazine. We are meant to be fulfilled, to laugh, dance, and sing. To spring into summer and fall back into winter with a child's delight and naivety and yet we fashion strength and beauty into another corporatized industry through which we obsess and self-loathe. We've turned from our, our competitive spirit to be higher, faster, and stronger, and found refuge in so many fleeting pleasures. Our youth is to be renewed through joyful recreation. Life is a stage, so let's play. Our playground is a joyful, outdoor canvas upon which we paint and texture our bodies as a brush. I've been drawn to schoolyards and parks, but public space is a very broad phrase, and the words are what you make of it. Get out, kick a tree, touch a tree, kick up some dirt, stand and fight the disillusionment, and take flight in your own life's personal mystery. These uh, fight or flight mechanisms seem so hideous, cast as savage reactions to a threatening world, and yet there's such a powerful response to their ignition. For instance, people run for all kinds of reasons, whether for improved health or competition. And from convalescent to Olympic athlete, you are always running from something. What if you're running from a tiger or the cops? <laughs> With a TV, are you possibly tapping an energy source, a motivation that is the polar opposite of joyful and life-giving, one that is essentially painful and life-threatening? It may not be inspiring, but it's certainly compelling. I mean, what's the definition of running as fast as you can? Running for your life. This is the future generation. They will be dancers and singers, cellists and pianists, jo as joyful on stage as they are content in their own homes. It is their collective that will rest and will reflect on the occupied movement as standing still and demonstrate to, to the world the wide range of motion that this world and our bodies truly afford us. I challenge you today to step outside tomorrow and allow recreation to, come to channel through you, spontaneous and natural. I'm Stephen Bond, and we are putting the gym back in the jungle.
March 4th. Thank you.